What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp for web tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to print a few different ways from the web version of SketchUp. So notice this is the online version and not the desktop version of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so for this example, I've downloaded a model from the 3D warehouse. This is the wine cabinet by 282 design. So if you wanna download that and follow along, you can do that by going into the 3D warehouse right here and then searching for that model. And so what we have is we have this wine cabinet model in here that we want to print a view of, right? So let's say we just wanted to print this off. And so there's a few different things that we're gonna look at. Some of them are available in the free version. Some of them are available in the shop version. So it can be a little bit confusing, but if you're trying to print off um, your 3D models just as something you can reference, then it's gonna be pretty easy for any user. And so what we wanna do, um, in the simplest way, if you wanna print, you can just go over here and click on this menu right here. You wanna go down to the option for print. And so when you click on the option for print, it's gonna look something like this. And for you, it's probably gonna have current view in here. And it might also have your background in here like this. And so you can set this up in order to print the view that you have active. And notice how this has my page size in here. So this is gonna to print to a letter size piece of paper. You can adjust that with other page sizes over here as well. And so let's say I wanted to print this to portrait. If I was to click on this, so notice how right now this isn't centered on my page. Well, one cool thing about this is this is actually a live viewport, meaning you can scroll in and out like this in order to place this on your page. And I assume that you can also, yep, you can hold the shift key and click and drag your middle mouse button to pan as well. So if you just want to print something like this off, you can center everything in your page just like this. And then let's say you wanted a white background so you didn't want the gray from your style in here. You could check the box right here in order to do that. So that's going to be the easiest way to print. So notice how if we were to add like some dimensions in here like this and then go back to print those dimensions are gonna show up in here as well. So you could print this off and take it with you to like uh, the shop or something like that if you were cutting up pieces really easily. Um, but you can also affect the way that this is going to look by creating different scenes inside of your view manager. So you could do that by coming over here and we're going to click on the option for scenes. So that's gonna be this button right here. And so notice how right now we've got a number of different default views in here. So for example, if we wanted just like a total straight on view, we could click on the button for parallel projection, then click on this front view. Well, notice how now we have a great front view that shows up inside of our scene. And so let's say we wanted to save this scene so that we could access it later. So the way that you can do that is you can manage your scenes down here by clicking the little plus button. So as soon as I click the little plus button, that's gonna create a scene with my current view properties. So let's say we wanted another one that was a side view. We could click in here to add another scene. And so you could create as many scenes as you wanted to in here, I believe. So we'll just go ahead and we'll add three scenes in here for right now. So these are gonna be the views that I wanna print. Well now, if we go back into the print settings. So we do a, we'll call this file. We'll do a file print over here. We'll notice how in my drop down there's an option in here for scenes. So you can select your different scenes in here. And you still probably are going to have to locate them in the middle, but notice how you're getting that camera view and that style that you set up in that scene ready to print. So we can use this in order to print this off as well. And you can access those different scenes really quickly just by doing this. And so for example, for me, if I was to click the print to PDF, it's gonna print this off. And that's gonna give me this PDF file that I could then print out on my printer. So one thing to note, is you can't print to scale with the free version. So I believe printing to scale is something that's only available if you pay for the subscription. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is something that gets added as a part of SketchUp Shop. I believe that's how that works, but it's a little unclear on this page, so I'm not 100% clear on this right now. 
but if you do have we're gonna say the shop version because I think that's accurate um, it definitely if you have a subscription to the desktop version you're gonna have access to this which is why I have access to it but let's say you wanted to print this to scale so let's say you wanted to print off something that you could actually measure um, using a ruler using a scale something like that um, what you can do is within your print function so we're gonna go to print we're gonna click on the button for print to scale and then we're gonna set our scale so let's say our drawing is 7 our model is we'll call it 12 and then I'm gonna tab out of this so what that's gonna do is that's gonna adjust the size in here and notice how as I scroll the scale is changing so you can either type you can type in a value but as soon as you come over here and scroll up or down notice that it's changing this model but let's say we want one inch to 10 inches right here well you can just type in that value and then you can still pan around so you can hold shift and you can hold the middle mouse key in order to place this on your page so let's say we wanted this to be something a little bigger so maybe one inch and we're gonna click on this front view right here we'll say one inch to six inches and we'll center that on our page then you can check the box for print scale and that'll put the scale on the bottom of your page right here so then if we were to print this out this would actually be a scaled image so you could actually measure it using that scale if you wanted to do that so if you do have the version that has print to scale that's how that's going to work so that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you tried this before? Is it working for you? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.